Please take your seats. We're going to get started. What? Streaming camera is built there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. There she's on right now. Okay, we're on the clock, so please take your seats. Okay, we are, we are on a tight clock, so we are going to get started. If, if I can get your attention so we can meet our deadline, there's 61 people here waiting to do something in about 30 minutes. So, I am Stuart Markowitz. I'm the Senior Associate Dean for Student Affairs and Admissions at the Charles E. Schmidt College of Medicine at Florida Atlantic University. I was the first person to speak to our class of 2016 at orientation almost four years ago, and I will be the last person to speak to the class of 2016 when we end the day. We normally announce VIPs, presidents, provosts, <coughs> board of trustees, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but today, I'm not going to do that because we have 61 VIPs here. <laughs> Match day is the end of a long journey of hard work, and these kids have really worked to deserve it. For those of you who've never been to Match Day, think of it as NFL Draft Day for nerds. <laughs> <clears throat> We're also excited, I've already gotten a communication from the AAMC in Washington and from a few other cities. We are webcasting this. We are on the screen, so smile. Is a, there is a, a portable camera they're using today for the first time, so uh, we're streaming this all over the world. And it's exciting for some of our students whose family cannot make it here. Um, the class of 2016, kind of, they don't like me to say this, but they're sometimes thought of as the middle child class, <laughs> and they sometimes think we don't like them as much as we like the class of 2015, but that's not true. <laughs> we love the class of 2016. They have really become, as we all know from the faculty, a family. They are a dysfunctional family, <laughs> but they are a family, and we, we, we look at you and we see your transformation. It's just incredible to watch what's happened in these last four years. Match day is the first day of your post-med school career. So we're going to go through the process. We, got, we have to stay on the clock. When that clock hits 12 o'clock on the dot, I don't care what's going on, our students are going to be up there opening the envelopes. So we want to stay on, on task and do that. And uh, we do, though, want to introduce a few speakers to talk to you. The good news is, as I know with my prepared words, it doesn't matter what I say because the students aren't listening. They're just looking at these two tables, thinking about what's going to happen in a, few, in a few minutes. So I'd like to introduce, I'm proud and pleased to introduce our Senior Associate Dean for Medical Education, Dr. Sarah Wood. Welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a profoundly exciting day. Um, today, at med schools across the country, over 34,000 medical students will match into over 30,000 re residency slots, and we already know that 100% of our students have matched. So. Um, so I, 
you know, what other day in any other profession is like this one? Um, it is, as Dr. Markowitz says, he calls it the NFL draft for nerds. I call it the Academy Awards of Medicine. The envelope, please. Um, and it really, it, it is a match. We were just talking a few minutes ago about how uh, really this is almost like the professional marriage of sorts. You, the, today you find out uh, sort of the residency program you're going to be mar married to for the next few years. Um, and it's really hard to explain sort of the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into this day for people who aren't in the medical field. Uh, obviously, 12 years of primary school, three to four years of college, four years of medical school, all lead up to this, uh, this day. Um, and really, to think that all of it culminates in sort of these one thin envelopes over there is kind of amazing. Um, it's hard for me not to get a little bit emotional as I reflect back on seeing all of the students as first years and really welcoming them to third year, to their clinical time. Um, I'd see them on Tuesday afternoons as they'd come back excited, their first time assisting in the OR, the first time delivering a baby. Um, watching those firsts has been, you know, part of the wonder and excitement and, par and definitely the best part of my job. Um, I think uh, this year, as they've been coming and going as fourth years, I sort of catch glimpses of them. They give me updates on their residency interviews, on their AIs, on their away ro rotations. And just to watch the confidence and the maturity that has developed in them is, uh, always puts a smile on my face. So really, all those experiences have led up to today. It's a nerve-wracking but an exciting day filled with promise. And every physician in this room and beyond can remember their, their, their match m moment. Um, I know none of you are, will remember what I say, but I know every student who's matching today will remember this moment indelibly imprinted uh, for the rest of their life. I can remember my match day moment. It was very different from this. We were just asked to stop by the registrar and pick up our envelopes. There was no pomp. There was no circumstance. Um, and really, there, I think they did have a photographer in the hall sort of trying to catch some glimpses of some re relieved smiles. But uh, really, it was all about each student and their envelope. Um, and really, that's what today is about, too. So although the match ceremonies have been embellished and the Cir circumstances have gotten much grander. Really, uh, today is all about what the students have accomplished and, uh, and everything they're going to accomplish. So um, I would also like all the s students who are uh, matching today to just take a minute today and really thank your loved ones, thank the people who have been supporting you, um, and also just look around at the family of, of the faculty and staff who feel so close to you. Uh, just like Dr. Markowitz said, you know, we, we do view you as part of our uh, College of Medicine family, and I can already look out in the crowd and see plenty of sort of proud, tearful eyes um, on this day. So um, I am extraordinarily proud of what you have all accomplished. I, I know there have been hard days and challenges. I've witness those, um, but I also have just seen the incredible transformation, and I know deep in my heart uh, the wonderful doctors each of you will be. Um, the medical landscape is constantly changing. Uh, there is exponential clinical knowledge, and I just feel very confident that our program has prepared you to be critical thinkers, to be problem solvers, and to be lifelong lear learners. Um, so I am confident that you can handle anything that these residencies will throw at you, and I just feel really grateful to be able to share this mo moment with you because in my mind this envelope is just a beginning. It is really a start of all you can and will be, and, um, and I have no doubt that you will go on to these uh, r residencies in those envelopes. You're going to make a name for each of yourselves, and you're going to continue to make a wonderful name for our College of Medicine. So good luck, congratulations, and I'm so, so proud. We had a 100% match, as you've heard before and you'll hear again. And talking to some of the other student affairs deans last night around the country, we really can consider ourselves fortunate. It hasn't been true for a lot of the medical schools. And a major, major, major part of the success is the woman I'm going to introduce next, my partner in student affairs, Dr. Jennifer Caceres. Thanks, Stuart. 
So congratulations, class of 2016. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And what amazes me is we actually, Holly was dropping us off this morning. And she said, do you guys still get nervous? I have butterflies and I have chills and, and I know where you matched. <laughs> so <laughs> I can only imagine how you're feeling right now. So I really, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm so incredibly, incredibly proud of all of you. I, I know I've met with every single one of you in detail. Um, so this is, this is really a special moment um, for me with you. In a very short moment, as you can see, I think I'm so nervous watching the clock myself, <laughs> the fruits of your hard work and dedication will be revealed. And once again, the Charles E. Schmidt College of Medicine will be lifted another, another level higher thanks to your fine accomplishments. In a few weeks, you'll be walking across the stage receiving your doctor of medicine. That's pretty awesome. As you're walking across the stage, I'm going to ask you to make just one simple promise. Promise to remember what brought you here. But nearly four years ago, when we were sitting together creating your own, very own code of conduct. Hold close to your heart that pure passion of medicine that you came here with and then later developed into a profession centering around the patient. There are a lot of questions right now out there about what's going to happen to healthcare. Uh, you know, our, we, we talk about the physicians and the attendings that you work with, how you've had different exposures, different responses. But if you hold that promise true to yourself, then the, the joy, the reward, and the honor of being a physician will always remain strong and clear. So, <laughs> Class of 2016, I am certain that all of you will be successful in all of your future endeavors. And I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me be part of that story, because this really is just the very beginning of an amazing journey. I'm getting like emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and see, th you're not the inaugural class. We really do love you so, so much, <laughs> and this is very genuine. So without further ado, I am now going to go into lo the logistics of what you are all really anxiously waiting for. So in, in the front of the room, you'll see two tables labeled one and two. On those tables are envelopes that contain where you'll be doing your future residency. If you, I don't know if all of you have noticed and who had an opportunity to walk around. I'm sure the students walked around and looked at their names. But it's not just their name on the envelope. There's a number. And there's a really great reason for that. And it's because at the College of Medicine, we really truly are a family. And that number allows us to organize the envelopes to allow our students to be standing next to their very closest friend, rather than simply putting it in alphabetical order. So as the clock continues to approach noon, as we get very close, we're going to ask the class of 2016 to rise and approach the tables and stand beside their envelopes, where we'll finally count down, and they will all learn where they will be performing their residency. At that time, we do welcome any family members, friends who want to come closer. Uh, this is something that is celebratory, so there's no rules that you can't get up or you can't stand in the aisles to take pictures. You can do as, as you want, and we'll be up here counting down. After noon, and everyone has been hugging and kissing and celebrating, we're going to ask those students who would like the opportunity to come up on stage and announce their specialty and where they'll be training um, to put their card, there's a name with their uh, your, a card with your name on it in each envelope. If you could just place it in those glass bowls at the center of each table, we'll then gather them and then Dr. Markowitz and I will call you up on stage individually and then as you exit the stage to place a pin on the map so that we can have a great picture of where all of our students will be next year. And then don't forget to stop of course and take a really great fantastic memorable picture at the end of the stage. <laughs> So once again, class of 2016, I truly feel and share this excitement with you today, and congratulations. Now I would like to welcome up to the stage one of our members of the first of this graduating class, Kayla Floria. There's a lot more of you than I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so happy match day. For, like you said, I'm Kayla Florio. Uh, a few months ago when we started planning all these match day events, our class held a vote for someone who they would want to give a speech at match day. 
someone who could be really funny, you know, say something inspirational, but still like please the parents and faculty. So naturally, they voted for Spunberg, David, and Kyle. <laughs> I was fourth out of four. <laughs> so um, they didn't pick me. Um, all the funny, inspirational people really didn't want to give this speech, so you all got stuck with me. <laughs> I think the only person who's excited to see me up here is my mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> so following the initial big boost of confidence from my classmates, I sat down and tried to figure out what I was going to say in this speech. Um, I had no idea, so naturally I did what anyone would do. I googled how to give a good speech. <laughs> and I found three big points. One, be funny two, be sentimental, and three, have a message. There was a little asterisk under be funny, and it said if you don't know how to be funny, just make fun of yourself. And I think revealing how highly sought after my public speaking skills kind of counts. <laughs> uh, number two was be sentimental. I thought this one's gonna be easy. Um, with all the stories our class has over the past four years, finding one would be a piece of cake, but really we have so many stories and memories that finding just one would be impossible. Like Dr. Markowitz said, our class here really has become a little family, and he downplays the fact that we totally are the middle child in this family. <laughs> um, I think on a whole, all the students in our class were like pretty surprised by the turnout of the faculty. We thought for sure they would be celebrating the inaugural class finishing up their internship. <laughs> I give Julian the credit for that joke. He wrote that joke. Um, <laughs> But really, the, on the scheme of family drama, ours is very minimal here uh, at Sus Charles E. Schmidt. You know, we have our cousins, Rick and Tyra, who don't really come, a lot, come around a lot, and our cousin Stanley, who maybe has a little bit too much eggnog at the Christmas party. But at the end of the day, it's family, so you love them anyway. Um, all joking aside, I truly think the relationships we've created here in the past four years will all last a lifetime. Out of the 61 students opening envelopes today, 12 are opening them as couples, myself included, and that's a lot for even a large med school. Just to give a little background info for those of you who don't know about the couples matching process, it's this long, complicated process where both partners in the relationship interviewed a variety of programs, they sit down and talk about which they liked and most and why, and then wherever the female in the relationship wants to go, they rank one and they submit their list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy everyone laughed at that joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we're at the final part of the speech, which was have a message. And I just really figured keeping it simple would be best. So all I'm going to say is just don't forget to smile. I think it's so easy for all of us with our type A personalities to just always focus on the next test and the next assignment and the next step. But if you really just take a second, you can appreciate the moment. Four years ago, I'm sure all of us at one point said, all I want to do is get into medical school. And in a few minutes, we're finding out we're going to residency. We're literally living the dream, and it's awesome. Um, before I forget, there's a lot of students, or seven, six students, who aren't finding out where they're going for their core residency today, because they've already matched. And I think their hard work really deserves some credit. Um, all of our ophthalmology students matched. So Brady, David, Sarah, and Taylor, you guys are awesome. Congrats. Yeah. And um, to both of our students who entered the Army match, Kara and Jeff, um, I not only congratulate you, where is she? I not only congratulate both of you um, on matching at your number one surgical residencies, but I think I speak for all of us when I say thank you for the sacrifices you'll make in the future. Um, okay. Um, and to everybody else, I mean, I have no doubt that we'll match at awesome places and just do amazing things, just as long as you take a second and smile. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. That was terrific. It's my pleasure now to introduce to you our interim dean, who has really been a great force for us since he's been with us. Really pleased and honored to have him come up here, Dr. Art Ross. We all have a lot to be thankful for today, and I want to thank 
Dr. Markowitz for giving me such an easy act to follow. This, this is really, really cool. How often in our lives do we get to be in a room this size filled with so many people and everybody's happy? <laughs> it's really, really cool. And you know, th there's one main point to be made, which is the NCAA has got it all wrong. This is March Madness. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good times on this campus just just keep coming and they get better and better. This is such a great event for all of us, but I'd be remiss to not point out to all of you here that the day before yesterday, the Board of Governors of the State System of uh, Florida Universities announced that the number one performing school in, excuse me, university in the state of Florida was FAU. It's us, we're number one. <laughs> And that kind of stuff doesn't happen by accident, and we're so grateful um, to be a part of it and extremely grateful that our president, John Kelly, is here today. John, would you please stand? <laughs> it's just terrific, terrific work and reflective of just a wonderful environment. We have lots to be thankful for, and so much of it is the support that we have. Um, we have a wonderful board of trustees that partners with our president, Chair Barbar. We have a wonderful advisory board for the College of Medicine, and Michael Dennis, the chair of that, is here today. We have a terrific team everywhere. And the one other group that I want to be sure to recognize is the incredible staff that we have in our college. We have people who are so dedicated that come to work early every day and work late to support us. And a large part of the reason that we're here and that we have been as successful as we have have been these terrific people who are truly the air under our wings. Would you please give a great round of applause to all of our good people. Okay, so the point is, it's not how quick will I get off the stage because then you can do it. It's really when it's noon. So, so don't worry too much about that. It's the clock, not me. So let me take one last moment to thank all of the families who are here. Every student has a story behind him or her and embedded in that story is a family that has sacrificed. A family that has put their loved one in front of everything else that's on their plate to be sure that their student has had the opportunity to take advantage of what they have received over their educational lifetime. We are grateful to you and especially humbled by the fact that you have entrusted your sons, your daughters, your spouses, your significant others to us for these four years and we hope you're happy with the outcome. Congratulations to the class and thank you all so very much. Okay, will Dr. Caceres and Dr. Wood please join me on the stage? Okay, so just again to review what we're going to do, we're going to have you in about two minutes head over to the table and stand by your envelopes. And again, as Dr. Caceres said, family can, can be around you. Uh, we have enough room set up to do that. And then you get the opportunity to open your envelopes. Then we would ask that you throw the card that's in each envelope in the bowl on the tables. We'll gather them up. We will randomly, uh, we will randomly uh, pick out of the hat in terms of the cards uh, to ask which student wants to come up and announce uh, where he's going. We have a fishbowl, uh, which uh, is going to be right up here. And the students have the opportunity to throw whatever they want in this bowl. I am going to um, start it off with $100. And Dr. Caceres is going to throw in. $100. <laughs> and uh, the money is going to go to the last student who is called up here. 
that student can make a decision what he wants to do with the money, but there are going to be 60 peers <laughs> who are going to be trying to influence that in terms of TAP 42 or <laughs> whatever else they might want to be doing. But that is a custom that, that we're used to and we'd like to see continue, and I, and I think it's great. So when you open up these env this envelope right now, you are literally opening the door to your future. Keep that in mind as you're up there. And we are so excited, we're so happy. We've been trying to keep our mouths shut for the last 24 hours. It's actually 28 hours I've been counting that we've known where you're going. And uh, we can't wait. So on that note, I think it is time to go up to the table. All three of us will be together on one minute. Okay, we'll do the countdown. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Please don't touch the envelopes. <laughs> Please don't touch the envelopes until we tell you to. Then the three of us will start doing a countdown with t 10 seconds. Okay, do not touch the envelopes. Two minutes. Right. Let's call them up too soon because. Okay, then they can get over. Why don't you tell them two minutes so they know? Two minutes, two minute countdown. Yes. Okay, 90 seconds. Sarah, I want you up here too, for the camera especially. <laughs> I thought the student did a great job. Yes. And I, I loved your thing about sticking true to the... <laughs> Okay, we have one minute and counting. One minute and counting. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds. I would wait. Okay. Twenty seconds, right? Twenty seconds. Okay. Let's start the count. Okay. Ten, Ten nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, open, open your envelopes. envelopes. Yeah, we have
have a whole set. You want to get let's, let's give them out. It yeah. doesn't tell them where they go then anyway. You want to take that? And I'll take that. Which one is this? Talked to a couple other schools. They said there's no school in the country that matched any better than this. 100 percent twice. The two yeah. rows. I, I, I would like to say we're the only new school in history that's ever done that, but Art Ross said, well, then you have to do a you have to do a study and this and that. And right. I, uh, but I think it is almost I, I'm convinced it's unprecedented. So well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony.
Okay, class of class of 2016. Oh, the cards go in the uh, glass bottles on the table. Class of 2016, we need we need to get. If I could have quiet just for one minute. Yeah, it goes, it goes in the glass. Larry? Retracted. She said to me, She's I talked retracted. to her. She said, I didn't say that. Because she got, she didn't know who she was talking to. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Did you remind them? Did you tell so them to put their, I gotta their ask name a quick in? Question. I, have, I have to leave here to get to the airport. And I'm going to leave a little later than 1225. So am I okay to sit where I'm sitting or am I going to be obvious? Well, it might go longer, so you might want to go to the back. I'm guessing it might go a few minutes longer. I'm not sure. Depends how many kids come so up. If, if I'm still here when you do the toast, I'll come up. We're, We're going to do the toast now. now. We are. Yeah. Pardon? Okay, gang, we need to get, we need to get the class. We need to get the class up here for a group photo and a champagne toast. We, we need to get the entire class up here. I assume, does she mean up here on the stage? I think she means down here. Where do we want the kids to come? Where, where is Joanna? Okay, the class of 2016, we need to get you all up here for a group, group photo. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Getting out there, everything thrown in the jars. Okay, we need, we're doing. <laughs> you want to try your break? So, everybody, if you could please grab your seats now. I don't think that's any longer. No, we want the students to come up for the picture. Oh, the picture? Yeah. Which picture? We're doing a to no, champagne toast. Oh, we're going to do it in the... Um, or do you want to do the... Uh, or do you want to do the do match? we do that at the end, in the finale, okay. when we're done? That's a good I idea, because we we're not going to do Yeah. We need a loud voice. Yeah. What? The money? No. No. Where he wants... What about it? Oh, he wants to know why we didn't do it last year? That is hysterical. 
Okay, we're going to start announcing the, uh, having the students come up. So we're going to have you guys sit. Does it matter which side they come up, which side they exit on? Okay, we are going to, we're going to have the students. If you have not thrown your card in the basket, please do so. Has any student not thrown his name in the basket? Congratulations to you. You're supposed to put your card, there's a card in there. Julie, I'm so proud of you. Okay, we're going to have the students come up. We're going to have, no, I don't think it matters. It's such a big stage. Okay, we're going to call our first student up. Guys, if you could have a seat over there. If you could please have a seat. We're going to call our first student up now. We want to make sure all the names are in the basket. We just got a text. We're getting texts and emails from the uh, through because of the webcast. We just uh, Dr. Luck just got a text from Nick Warren, who's <laughs> who's watching this webcast, and he says, "I can't believe that Caceres and Markowitz didn't throw a hundred dollars in the pot last year." <laughs> we didn't have. <laughs> We didn't have a pot last year, but at any rate, so anybody, anybody who didn't put their anybody name yet to put their name in the basket? Can can I have everybody sitting, please? Can I get you guys sitting over there so we can get some quiet? Out of respect to the students coming up, I would appreciate it. It's a joyous occasion. Okay, so we are now, does anybody, last call for anybody to throw the card in the, hat, in the, in the basket. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Okay. We are going to start. Our first student is a great student to start with, Ashley Flock. Going to Cincinnati Children's for pediatrics. You can go up that way. Cassandra Yoder. Carolina's Medical Center in Charlotte for OB Guy. <laughs> Daniela Hurtado. And John Sadie. You guys come up together. Yeah, that's right. One of our couples. <laughs> John Sadie. <laughs> I'm going into pediatrics. I'm going to general surgery yeah. at, at Baylor, Baylor University, University in Houston. Houston. <laughs> Sarah Langdon. There she is. Sir. 
Oh, okay. You want us to we'll wait? We'll redo that. We'll her, her dad steps out. Okay. <laughs> 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 Ramsha Kudia. I'm doing internal medicine at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Great program. I want to see you there in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Carly Myers. Pediatrics at Children's mm -hmm. National in DC. Sarah Cador. Going into internal medicine at USF Tampa. Daniel Duzgian. to anesthesiology at the University of California, Los Angeles. Oh my, oh my. Catherine Anderson. doing a prelim medicine year at Carolinas Medical Center in Charlotte and then dermatology at Wake Forest University. Erica Vormatag. Pathology residency at the University of Illinois in Chicago. <laughs> Juliet Meyer. I'm doing an otolaryngology fel um, residency at University of Florida. <laughs> ML Kiscarly. We didn't well. ask for two people to come <laughs> up, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing internal medicine at UCI Olivia. River Riker. I'm doing internal medicine at University of Kentucky. Jackie Cortizo.
I'll be doing internal medicine at the Cleveland Clinic, Florida. Brady Skilling. So preliminary year in internal medicine at Rush University in Chicago and ophthalmology at Krieger Institute in Baltimore. Special one because she's been so instrumental to the class in terms of nudging you guys all the way through last night, Leah May Roberts. Should have. So I wasn't ready to be done being an owl, so I am going to Temple University in Philly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell them what oh, in OBGYN, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Alexander Casella. going to be going into general surgery at the University of Hawaii in Honolulu. I think I'll get the biggest one. <laughs> Do we have that on the map? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. <laughs> David Levine. I'll be doing my first year as a TY in Emory, and then I also am doing ophthalmology at Emory, too. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Courtney Coyle. I'm doing pediatrics at Nationwide Children's at The Ohio State University. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Okay. We have one more. Uh, Andrew A.J. Brown. Family Medicine at Pomona Valley Hospital in Pomona, California. <laughs> Myra Gafar. <laughs> and Nick Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing pathology and psychiatry at the University of Florida, Florida in Gainesville. <laughs> okay. Sarah Anastas.
there she is. <laughs> Speak loud. Okay, so I'm actually in ophthalmology. I'll be doing my prelim year at the University of New Mexico. <laughs> And then I'll be doing ophthalmology at New York Medical College. <laughs> Kristen Patrick. I'm going into pediatrics at Palmetto Health in Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> Julian Bo. <laughs> Julian? So my name is Julian Bo. Some of my friends know me as Stan, but I am uh, doing emergency medicine at Emory University. <laughs> Jacqueline Kunzak. My name is Jacqueline Klimzak, and I am going into otolaryngology at New York Eye and Ear Infirmary in Mount Sinai. Thank you. <laughs> Tiffany Ollier. Tiffany? My name is Tiffany Ollier, and I'm going into obstetrics and gynecology at Nassau University Medical Center in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle Diamond. Hi, I'm Kyle Diamond. Um, I'm going to be a vascular surgeon. I'm going to the University of Massachusetts. <laughs> Nicole Harvilla. I'm Nikki Harvilla, and I'll be going to the University of Maryland in Baltimore for pathology. Okay, Nick, oh, Nick we have. Uh, Alex Castillo. I'm Alex. I'm going to be doing radiology in my transitional year at Emory University in Atlanta. <laughs> Haley Smith. I'm going to do emergency medicine at Orlando Regional Medical Center. 
Lauren Spoo. I'm Lauren Spoo, and I'm going into OBGYN at Baylor in Houston. <laughs> Jonathan Kubik. I'm Jonathan Kubik, and I'm going into OBGYN in Carolina Medical Center in Charlotte. <laughs> Elizabeth Martino. Elizabeth, there she is. Hi, I'm Beth Martino, and I'm going into emergency medicine at Geisinger Health in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Megan Slate. Megan, I'm going to OBGYN at Sinai in Baltimore. Whitney Woodhull. I'm going into pediatric neurology at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. Another <laughs> okay, Tony Nikolaev. Tony Nikolov, and I'll be doing radiation oncology residency at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. <laughs> Kayla Florio and Ben Katz. So I'm Kayla, I'm going into anesthesiology. And I'm Ben, also going into anesthesiology. <laughs> and we matched at Mass Massachusetts General. General. <laughs> <laughs> we have a card, two cards that were put together for some strange reason, Patrick <laughs> Barrett and Nicole Barrett. <laughs> Cole Barrett. And I'm Patrick Barrett. And, and we're, we're going, going to, to University, University of, of Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> oh, pediatrics and emergency medicine. Pediatrics and emergency medicine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Daniel Spunberg.
My name is Daniel Spunberg, and uh, next year I'll be going uh, into internal medicine at uh, Icahn School of Medicine and outside at Elmhurst Hospital in New York City. Hey. Robert Horn. My name is Robert Horn, and I'll be going to the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston, Texas for, for, for internal medicine. One of our fine graduates in the military, Jeffrey Ling. I'm Jeffrey Ling. I'll be going into general surgery at Eisenhower Army Medical Center in uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia. Tyler Sparks. I'm Tyler Sparks. I'll be doing neurological surgery at Medical College of Georgia. Taylor Davis. I'm Taylor Davis. Um, I'm going to be doing um, ophthalmology at LSU Oxner in New Orleans. Victoria Gao. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and Patrick Page. <laughs> Taylor was right, the woman comes first. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm going to be doing um, otolaryngology. Oh, sorry. Otolaryngology. Anesthesiology. We're going to University, University of, of Arkansas. Arkansas. Sarah Langdon. She's here. <laughs> oh, he's here. Okay. Hi, I'm Sarah Langdon. I'm going to be doing general surgery, and I'm trading one sunny location for another, and I'm going to Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. <laughs> We're down, we're down to three. Uh, this is the third of the final, th this is the first of the final three. Kara Wrights. I'm going to uh, William Beaumont Army Medical Center in El Paso, Texas, Fort Bliss. <laughs> Jacqueline Ponzik. <laughs> Almost. I was ready to pay you guys off. Almost. Hi, I'm Jackie. Just want to make sure I read this right the first time. I'm going into pediatrics at Northwestern Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago. Oh, oh, 
Last but not least, she knows because she hasn't been called yet, Amanda Hanicum. I am going into physical medicine and rehabilitation at the University of South Florida in Tampa. <laughs> and tell them what you're going to do with the money. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 and, think about it. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what to do with the money. I'm sure you guys are going to give me some suggestions. <laughs> Could you yell it, out. yell it out for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank you. <laughs> So we would like to, uh, Dr. Uh, Caceres and Dr. Wood and I would like to propose a toast in honor of our students. We'd like all the students to come up on stage. Uh, do, you want, do you want them, uh, Joanna? The of the stage, I guess on the bottom of the stage here. We want everybody to come up for a champagne toast, all the, stu all the students. We'd also like to invite our very integral student affairs staff, Annie Thomas, Sharon Riolini, Agnes Santor, Holly Labarca, and Mavis Brown. And our, our, our M3, our M3 and M4 coordinators, Abner, Alexis, Lacey Sorrentino, and Emily Zemak. Where's the champagne? Yeah, they have the staff come on stage. Uh, Can the staff come up on stage since you play such a critical role? Annie Thomas, Sharon Riolini, Agnes Santori, Holly LaBarker, Mavis Brown, Abner, Ale Abner Alexis, Lacey Sorrentino, and Emily Zyman. Sarah, you stay up here in the middle. I guess they need... Someone has to bring us... Where's the, where's the champagne? You guys have to bring the champagne. Where's the champagne? Okay. Can you guys bring it up on stage? Sh uh, can you bring the champagne up to stage, please? <laughs> can we? Come to come on stage. Come on up. Come, come on, on up, up to the stage. Come on, come up, on to up. The stage. Are they getting champagne? I know, right? We got a ton to go down there. No, it's a bag So to bring some more up top. Okay. Does everybody have champagne? Okay, class. Class of 2016. Wait, we're waiting. When you went up here, Sarah too. Sarah, I want you. Class of 2016, your dream of becoming a doctor has become a reality. You are poised to show everybody what the FAU College of Medicine is all about. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. A toast to the wonderful class of 2016.
Give me, I want to give Sarah a big hug. I'm going to put this down. You're good, guys. You're going to be in DC. Really good number one. Really amazing. Do you want to say enjoy the reception? Yeah, please enjoy the reception. Please enjoy the reception uh, in the room. Stay as long as you want. Thank you. Are we going to do a group photo? Can all the students stay near the stage so we can take one class photo before you separate? I just stand. Joanna wanted to take them. Yeah, she she had a bunch of them. We need some photos with the map. We want the class. Uh, there's another class photo being taken, so if the class could stay up here. Yeah, you say it better. Okay. Where, who's taking it? Where's the photographer? Where, where's, where's the, oh, there she is, she's right there. Okay, we have the photographer up here for a class photo. Is that not the funniest thing? Where's the photo? Oh, there she is. She's setting up. Is Nick Warren not hysterical? Yeah, he's like, what do you mean we didn't get any cash like that? <laughs> oh, they're actually pulling seats up for them to sit. Oh. That's nice. Who's looking for me? There's a row in the front for students to sit. So if some of you can grab a seat down in the front row. Hey Sarah. I'm great. I'm good. I'm right. I'm right in in the space. We have this much. <laughs> like, I'm already on heels, I can't get any taller. Again, I, uh, I heard texts were flying in from all She said that she could see us, but... 